Hello. Thank you so much for taking the time to come to my studio and let me interview you. I gotta say, this is, this is a huge honor. This I'm, I'm a little starstruck, honestly. I didn't think I'd ever actually land this interview. It's just incredible that you're here, and I'm so excited. You're kind of larger than life, you know? And I mean, look at you. Every square inch of you is just magnificent. You are like a heavenly creature. <sighs> All right. Well, if you're okay with it, I've got uh, several questions to ask you. I got to grab my keyboard real fast. Um, this little guy right here, I'll be typing on it as, as I ask you these questions. Um, we're going to go over some of the roles that you've played in various movies. Um, maybe your, your beauty routines. Um, you know, how you just keep the hair always so just curly and lush, you know. Um, maybe your diet, what you like to really chew on and sit there and chew on like all day. Yeah, so let's, we're going to go ahead and, and dive into this. Um, first, I want to talk about some of the roles that you've had over the years in, in movies, uh, specifically uh, Napoleon Dynamite, first of all, um, as Tina. And can you tell me a little bit about that role? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, can you tell me how it felt to have somebody throw food at your feet and just say, Tina, eat your food? Like, how did, how did that feel, you know, in that movie? It just elicit such a response. Um, can you tell me about that? personal here, but would you have voted for Pedro? Yeah, okay, cool, good. Thanks for sharing your opinion on that. Now, moving on from that movie, um, a lot of people don't know you were actually the model that was used as a reference for the Emperor's New Groove for Cusco. So can you tell me what it was like to have to walk around like a human so that they could draw and reference um, and, and really nail, right, what it might be like for a human to turn into a llama. Uh, mm. Actually, that's really interesting. Yeah. Now, how difficult was it for you to learn to kind of walk around on, on two legs? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about your workout routine maybe a little bit? Okay. That early in the morning. Holy smokes. Good, yeah. A lot of protein, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, I got a lot of um, admiration for actors like yourself who just put so much into the role and to learn to walk on two legs and to spin around and just, you know, it's just, I don't know, got a lot of respect for you. So what would you say was the most challenging part of the Emperor's New Groove? David Spade always wanted to ride you? Huh, that doesn't exactly surprise me. But. 
me get that down. Uh, okay. Side note, what's it like being confused so often with alpacas? Is that something you'd like to talk about? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, yeah tell me about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine that you got a lot of respect for alpacas, but really, you are two totally different animals. So, yeah, I understand that, that where you're coming from there. Let me get that last bit down here. Okay. Now, I have a favor to ask because, again, a lot of people aren't aware that you are the llama from the iconic gif of the sassy llama. Can you, can you do the sassy thing for me real quick? You know, the little, let me, this thing where you, that thing. Did you hear my neck crack just now? Yeah. I'm getting old. Can you do that real fast? No. Okay. I, I thought I'd ask, you know, because I'm, again, I'm a big fan. So, okay, we'll just move on. Can you tell me a little bit about what your daily routine looks like? In between the movies, in between commercials, in between being drawn as a reference, can you just tell me what, what's the what's the daily life look like for you? All right, yeah. I got to say, it makes a lot of sense that you would live on a farm with other llamas. I, I should have thought of that, but, you know, I don't know what the life is like for a, a famous llama, you know? What is one thing you take to a desert island if you had to be there for the rest of your life? What's the one thing you would take? Not food, but thing. Huh. I wouldn't have expected a gun, but to each his own, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah, on the same vein, what's if you had to eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? And trust me, the people, they want to know. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Um, I have a request. Would you allow me to brush your hair just to I just really want to experience that it's so lush and wonderful and I'll do it with the utmost respect I promise you will awesome let me get my brush all right just I'll just come to the side over here and just You really are a work hard. And I can tell there's a lot of muscle under there. This is great. This is, wow. symmetrical get this side real fast okay yeah just <laughs> thanks for letting me do that i got a lot of respect for you and even more now just you really are like 
That's like you fell from heaven or something. You're just like the perfect llama. I can see why they use you in basically every movie involving a llama. You know, even the ones I forgot about or didn't even mention that you're you're in. Um, but this was short and sweet, but thank you so much for, for coming out. And is there anything you'd like to say to oh let me get my key. Is there anything you'd like to say to the, the viewers or the readers? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Last point about Jack in the Box being better than Wendy's. I gotta agree. Gotta agree. They got the curly fries. I mean, it's not even really a competition. Well, I'll put my keyboard down. Sorry, that's why I was awkwardly looking over here. Thanks again for your time. I'm probably gonna have to cut down that last statement there down a bit, you know, to, to fit on the uh, two page in the magazine. Yeah. Um, it was an honor. Thank you so much for your time. And, uh, yeah, you know, maybe we can have you back sometime. We can talk about some of your other roles. All right, I'll, I'll see you next time.